Hey guys, welcome to a very special unfiltered buddy review. And over the next 15 minutes or so, we're gonna tell you how fast that truck is from zero to 60, how quiet or loud it is, how it rides, and why this is special. That's because that truck showed up at our doorstep brand new about six months ago, and it's going away. So this is a long-term buddy review, and for that, I need a buddy. Can I join you, Roman? Heck yeah, Andre. So. We've had that truck for about six months now. It's the 2018 Nissan Titan Pro 4X. How much did it cost? Well, the M MSRP is about 53,000 with a few options. Yes, yeah, so and we didn't pay that. Nissan lent it to us for six months to do a series of videos. And shall we start by talking about the elephant in the room and the fact that it's yellow? <laughs> Yes, it's solar flare. <laughs> yes, it's very yellow. Boom. It pops, but I like it, dude. Yes, and I think we got it, well, we got it on purpose in this color because it's so good on camera. Yeah, so let's talk about the styling as we always do and do a little bit of a walk around. So the front of it, to a lot of you especially in the comments, is a little bit Ford-esque. Yes. Is that a word, Ford-esque? Well, it's this region, the headlight region. And that's, this is kind of what some of the Fords looked like, you know, 2014 and prior. But, I mean, this truck, especially in this color, I think is pretty much our. Yeah, and this is, of course, the most off-road worthy of the Titans. It's the Pro 4X. So let's head on back this way and kind of take a look at not only the towing mirrors, but more importantly, the business end of the truck. And that is, of course, the back or the bed. So does it have a soft open? Of course it does. Ah, yes, 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 of course. And I do love this tie-down system that's very common on a lot of Nissan's. You've got your four kind of hooks right there, but you also have this very usable tie-down system that lets you move to many different positions when you have something that needs to be tied down, let's just say in the front or in the back. Bed liner here on this option. And yep. also you got the tie-down uh, rails in the floor, which is kind of unique. Not yeah. many manufacturers do this. Yeah, Nissan has been doing this a long time, not yeah. just in the Titan, but also in the Frontier. And I think it's a really good system. We also have a pretty cool little way of getting in here. Why don't you show them, Andre? Well, there's a side step. There's no steps in the bumper, but there is a step below the bumper, which is really handy. And of course we have the tow hitch. And we have towed with this. We've taken it up the Ike Gauntlet, and you can go to TFL Truck and check out that video. It actually tows really well. Yeah, I actually towed with this truck all the way on my vacation. Yeah, my, I towed my boat, which is about 6,000 pounds, and I did about 800 miles in this truck. But let's look under the hood, shall right, we? I'll open it up, and we'll talk about what is actually my favorite feature, Andre, which is the power plant. <laughs> so uh, I think there's this good news, and there's some bad news. The good news is that this is a 5.6 liter V8 and the rating is 390 horsepower, 394 pound-feet of torque. It's made it to a 7-speed automatic transmission. But do you know what the bad news is? Fuel economy. Yes, that's a, that is a small nick. This is not the most, actually, the, this is kind of one of the least fuel-efficient vehicles other than the Tundra. Yeah. But you know what, what else I don't like? What? This is the only engine of choice. Yeah. If you look at at least even the Toyota Tundra, the Ford, the Chevy, the Ram, all of those offer multiple engine options. Well, there is a diesel. Well, yeah, but you have to have an XD. Yep. You right, have to, have you have to buy a bigger truck for that. Yeah, you can get a Cummins, and of course, that's kind of that weird tweener truck that's not quite a heavy duty and not quite a half ton. Yes. Uh, but if you want the half ton, there's only one choice. And I do love the way this engine sounds. So why don't we start it up? We should do that. And let them listen to it, and then we'll talk about the interior, and okay. we'll go take it for a test drive. All right, let's do it. Should I rev it? Yeah, go rev it, dude. Okay. I'll tell you what, hold on. Okay. Rubber! Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. I would wager that this is probably the best sounding half ton that you can buy now. It's really loud, really throaty, really gutsy. It's what you want in a big truck V8. Hey, there's another person. We got another hey. buddy. Hey, dude. Hey, so I'm in the back seat here of the Titan, um, and there's tons of leg room, as you'd expect in a modern half ton. I also have heated rear seats on both sides and a 120 volt, volt outlet. So pretty well equipped back here. Yeah. That's nice. And let's talk about the way that this 
layout works ergonomically and the way that it looks. So ergonomically, I gotta tell you, and that basically means the way things come to hand, right? Yes. This is one of the best half tons out there. Everything is logically placed. Everything is easy to access. Uh, everything is kind of where you'd expect it to be. But, yes. but the actual switch gear is a little haphazardous. It kind of looks like somebody took a whole bunch of Nissan parts and just went <laughs> Right and through them, and there's, then just order them. One, there's one button that doesn't quite make sense, yeah. and that's this one. It's the heated steering wheel, which is optional. But why is it here? Why is it not on the steering wheel? I don't know. It's well, cold. I'll just turn it on for okay, you. Thank you. <laughs> but I do have heated seats too. We, we do have heated seats. We yeah. do have a brake controller integrated. Yes. Uh, we have uh, well one USB port, not not the new C, but the traditional one. We also have two. Yeah, uh, 12 volt power problems. outlets, but there's no like plug. And this is a seven inch screen. Yeah, it's small. I have there's a plug no... back here, actually. There's a plug in the back. Yeah, oh, got, a, got a plug a, back there. We have a plug in the back. Yeah, it's a pretty small screen. A lot of these parts, like, like this heated seat switch right here, you know, that's straight out of many Nissans, right? And, and also actually, Infinities, Infinities, yeah. Infinities use them as well. But in general, the layout is kind of plain Jane and the Switch gear is kind of Nissan, but it all works. Yeah. The and one the one thing I don't like. Oh, that's a little shaky? Yeah, I don't like that. It's a little shaky. I like the column shifter though. It yeah. makes me feel like I'm a real trucker. <laughs> and the tow mode and the gear selector is actually on the on this uh, shift lever. But I would like it to be a little bit more solid. Yeah, a little bit more solid. Yeah, um, I agree. How about the materials? I think in general the materials are actually really nice. They're all kind of soft touch, right? Yeah. This is a little harder, but this elephant skin is leathery, which is what you want. Uh, you know, plenty of cup holders, plenty of storage space. And actually there's another power outlet down in the... And uh, there's some tape too. There's some tape, yeah. It doesn't come with... You have to pay extra for the... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> for the painter's tape. Okay. <laughs> well, this this engine is actually, when, when not towing, yeah. is matched really well to the transmission. The seven speed is really, you know, really accelerates well, and we'll find out right now, right? Yeah. Having said that, though, Ford and now Chevy, of course, have a ten speed. Yeah. Which is three less than Ra Ram. Three more than seven. Ram has eight. Yeah. Ram has eight. Uh, and I think you put your finger on it. I mean, the problem is we only have one powertrain in this. Yeah, if, if you're looking at the light duty Titan, only one choice. All right, guys, let's make okay. a bet. Under 10 seconds, yes or no? Uh, yes, under 10, yep. Under oh. 10? Uh-oh, come on. Oh, it's okay, hold it, on. Is it going to reset itself? There it goes. All right, go okay, for go it. Go for it. Merging, real world merging onto highway with four people, zero to 60. Oh, well under 10. Well. Oh, oh not that well under 10. There you go, 9.2. Mile above sea level. Yeah, we've level. had trucks that did much better yeah. uh, on the same loop. Yeah, let, let's face it, quite frankly, the uh, um, Ford F-150 EcoBoost will, will crush and it. even the Coyote. The even, Coyote did well. Coyote but that Coyote was a two-wheel drive truck. All right, guys, here we have our decibel meter, so I'm going to be quiet. Averaging just around 60, which is actually really good. Really? Yeah, it's really good. It's Anything under 70 decibels is, is really a good result. Especially with these big towing mirrors, Andre. Yeah. You know, they're, they're, they're kind of split where the bottom part kind of angles out so that you can see your blind spot, which is nice because we don't have blind spot monitoring. Yeah, and actually, uh, we'll, we'll do one more thing. We'll do navigation system check. Yes. But because, th by the way, this truck has 4,755 miles. Yeah. And we've put almost all of those miles on this truck. It was brand new. Yeah. yeah. And uh, what we found out, towing uh, on my 800 mile trip with a trailer, yep. the transmission was not quite perfect. You know, I think the other automakers who you know, are competing in the space do that better. Uh, I was going in fourth and fifth gear and it seemed like the engine was revving quite a lot. And, so, and then look at the yeah. real world MPG there. Well, don't look at it. <laughs> it's 12.7. 12 12.7. 12 <laughs> 12 point, that's pretty old school truck, Andre. <laughs> it's, for, it's, it's old school. Yeah. So I'm feeling a little hungry, dude. Should we go to Snarfs? Okay, let's, let's, let's try the NAV system. Yeah, yeah, let's see if we can get the Snarfs. Does it even have a voice activated? Well, let's see. Hmm. Please say a category like phone or a command like points of interest, followed by a brand name. Nav points of Navigate to Snarfs. Please wait. Ooh, it's sinking. Points of interest. 
showing matching names. Huh? Please say a number from the displayed list. I don't think Snarf's is a point of interest, Andre. Well, it's Please point of my interest. <laughs> Additional commands are but this is actually out. interesting. Commands. What it can I knew say? that you were General hungry, Hulk. I think. Go back, quit, or exit. Well, it said Huck's Food Store Coast and what classic? I don't know what say class. a number from the displayed list. Additional commands. Cancel. Are help. Go, cancel. Commands. What can I say? Go, go General back. General help. Go back. Quit, cancel. Or exit. 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 The name for the points of interest was not recognized. <laughs> Please say a brand name. He, he can't, go can't, can't. back. Please say a category like phone or a command like <laughs> points of interest. Canceling voice recognition. <laughs> Okay, wow. we're done. Yeah, because we're on the rough stretch of road. Yeah, so let's that, look at the hula girl. Yeah, we're going to each rate her for how hard she dances. One being not very hard and ten being like all out hula party. <laughs> and we're actually, I think it's like a two. There's, she's doing well. She's doing well. There's, what do you think, Tommy? Yeah, I think it's like a two or a three. She's not jiggling too much. Oh, there, oh, she, there, oh, she, there, goes. there she goes. She just, uh, went to, <laughs> she just went to a three there. Yeah, that was a three for sure. <laughs> but certainly not Hula Party. So I think the ride is actually really good in this truck. I think it's uh, well insulated and isolated from the road. I actually like the driving dynamics of this truck. It's, you know, honest. I think it's a character of an off-road truck. Yeah. Because when, when you have a little softer spring, and you have those Bilstein shocks, yeah. which we have in this truck. And by the way, uh, we do have blind spot monitoring. The, the ride is pretty good yes and it's also in the mirrors yes so we actually this truck is well optioned because we have heated seats you know heated mirrors i mean what else do you need except no sunroof what's up with that nissan there is no sunroof option i don't know you know nissan always provides a lot of value for your money and i think that it is a good is value a good value you, you get a lot of everything that you'd want and a lot of stuff that you probably don't want right or don't need. Or don't need yeah. in, in a, a well-optioned truck. Let's talk about this truck's four-wheel drive system. So it's got obviously four high. Uh, it's all done via a little rotary dial. So it's four low as well. Very simple. And do we have a locking rear diff? Uh, yes. And the button is on the left. I'll show that to you later. But it's on the left of the steering wheel. Yeah. Here. So it does have hill descent control. It has those basics. Uh, that every off-road package in every truck now has. And we've actually taken it off-road. We've taken it up uh, Goldmine Hill. We've taken yep. it up Cliffhanger 2.0. Yep. Once again, those videos are uh, on tfltruck.com or on our truck YouTube channel. Yes. And uh, they're proof that, everything. Yeah, that, these, that this truck does really well. It's a really capable off-road truck. It's, uh, it's uh, rough and tumble. Yeah, and you, I think you put put the nail, you hit the nail on the head with the value. Yeah, I think that's where Titan shines. It's you know if you're looking at an FX4 like a fully loaded Ford, or you know Chevy Trail Boss, those trucks are hitting the sixty thousand dollar mark, right? And, and this truck is still affordable, at, relatively affordable, at fifty three or fifty four grand. Yeah, we should talk about the truck that it competes with. I I would go Rebel as well. Yes. Uh, you know. TRD off-road Tundra, Tundra or Pro, or TRD Pro, Pro It's probably a Pro, it's probably not TRD. I don't think it's Pro. Pro is probably another level because Pro has uh, the Fox shocks, right? Right. It's certainly Slight not... Slight lift. Yeah, it's not Raptor level. So it's it's kind of TRD, but not Pro. It's FX4, not Raptor. It's probably Z71, maybe not Trail Boss. Yeah. It's probably Ram Rebel-ish. Ish, yes. Ish, yeah. Yes, it's there. And, and all those trucks that I named are a lot more expensive. Yeah, absolutely. And let's face it, you know, we said this one's 53, but Nissan is discounting these trucks as well. So it's probably substantially lower. And, and all truck manufacturers discount their trucks. Other than the Raptor. Yeah, the, the Raptor, Raptor doesn't, <laughs> doesn't actually get does, discounted. Does not discount right. uh, their truck. And uh, let's talk about the elephant in the room, the other elephant in the room, and that is we've had it for six months and we have had exactly zero issues with it. Yeah, there is no elephant, actually. There is no elephant. <laughs> it, it starts it's up. Been, it's been perfect. It's been perfectly yes. reliable, except for routine maintenance. Everything works as it should. Nothing has broken. Nothing has come apart. Nothing has failed. Truck has never failed And we weren't easy. At the start. We, no, we weren't we easy. We weren't easy on this truck. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's dead reliable, and uh, that's something that I think is important. You know, my steering wheel is really hot. Is it? Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, the Rebels is hotter. <laughs> The Rebels, you can't keep really? your hands on, yeah. Really? Yeah, you'd be like, you'd be like, oh. yeah. It's so so. We've had a really good experience with this truck in general. Uh, we've done you know off roading, we've done towing, we've done long distance MPG testing. Yep. Um, 
we were giving it back because speaking of there's another Titan. Yeah, speaking of Titans, we're giving it back because there's, there's nothing left to do with it. There's another chink in the Titan's armor, which is uh, which is maximum towing rating. Yeah. It's not rated quite as highly as the competitors. So this 4x4 truck is rated just under 9,300 pounds. Yep. Um, so if you compare it to the Rebel, for example, uh, that's 11,000. So so if you wanna, you know, talk about your numbers, the Titan. Uh, but I wouldn't recommend towing 11,000 with the Rebel, yeah. right? But those you ratings are there. You can. Yeah. You so, can. So the, the Titan is not rated quite as high as, as some of the other trucks. Well, before we end this review, we're going to, of course, each of us give it a rating of buy it, lease it, rent it, or forget it. And that's going to be a rating that's based on six months of, of intense testing. So I think that's going to be valuable. So think about that, boys. Okay. Uh, let's go on outside and uh, let's wrap up this video. All right. Before, before I ask you guys to rate it, I'm going to ask you what your favorite thing about the Titan is. And we've spent a lot of seat time yes. behind the wheel. So, Tommy, let's start with you. Um, I like the Pro4X package. So it gives you the skid plates. It gives you a slightly upgraded shock. It gives you some, some cool wheels and tire package. And it gives you the rear diff lock. Um, and I think it's a, it's a really good value for that package overall. How about you, Andre? Two things. Um, the interior. Yeah. I think the interior, and when I took it on vacation, it's just such usable interior. There's a lot of cup holders. My family was very happy with it. You know, the kids in the back. My wife was very happy with the interior. The seats are comfortable. So long term, long distance, this is a good truck. And also the engine. I think the engine where it shines. Yeah, my two favorite things are, I love the color. I think it pops. Oh, yeah. And I love the exhaust note. I think that's it's really good. probably the exa best exhaust note in... Still. Still. Yeah. Out of all the half tons out <laughs> yes. there right now. All right, Tommy, buy it, lease it, rent it, or forget it. Why? I'm going to say lease it because as much as I don't want to admit I love all the fancy new tech that are coming in new cars and trucks, I do quite like the fancy new tech that's coming in the new cars and trucks. And I think three or four years down the line, you're going to be pretty ready to move on. And how about you, Andre? I'm going to say lease it. Yeah. Uh, I love the truck. We discussed, you know, the good things about it. But what I don't like about it is the towing performance wasn't quite there. You know, with the trailer, the transmission was not quite fully uh, tuned to towing and fuel economy. It's just not that great, so lease Old it. Old school truck. I'm going yes. to go with lease it as well. The reason I like it is because it's honest and it does everything it says it does, right? Uh, but it's already dated. You know, it's a relatively brand new truck, but we're at a point now where truck competition has gotten so hyper competitive that the bar has been moved I think at least twice now since even this was released. So I'm going to go with lease it because I think, you know, you, if you like new tech like you, Tommy, you want to go yeah. with the newest, and, and this is getting dated very quickly. It needs a new, another engine option. At least, I yeah. think. I think it needs something fresh. And probably, you know, the one that I would buy would be the Warrior Concept, which they came out with. <laughs> I think everybody out there, I would I, buy one too. I fell in love with it. Yes. Nissan, please build it. Yes. As always, this is Roman and Tommy and Andre saying thanks for watching and check out all those reviews of the Titan and TFL truck because if you're interested in this, we've done comprehensive testing. And guys, thanks for watching, and we hope you like this buddy format because. We certainly love doing it. And I'm sad because the truck is going yeah. away. Yeah, it's going away. Yeah. Bye bye, Titan. We'll have to get another one for next year. All right. All right. Bye.